Now, I want to relate this EMF to magnetic flux, which we introduced previously. So to do this, I'm actually going to redraw the picture over here. So this is me redrawing exactly the same picture. Here's my um, loop. It's moving in this direction with velocity v. And there's magnetic field on this side of the dashed line. Here, there's a magnetic field. Here, there's no magnetic field. So out here, v is 0. But in here, there's a, there's a non-zero magnetic field. And I want now to think about what happens to the flux through this loop as I'm pulling it, as it's moving. So delta t, this is where the loop is now. But a time delta t ago, the loop was back here. So delta t time previously, the loop was delta s, this back here, by the, it, was, it was back here by an amount delta s. And so if I ask, now you might ask, why am I asking this? I'm asking this because I feel like it at the moment. We'll see why I'm asking in a second. If I ask, what is the change in the magnetic flux through the loop? Well, the change in the magnetic flux through the loop is what? Um, well, the change in the magnetic flux through the loop, so the loop has just moved over by this amount. That means out here, it's moved from this spot to that spot. But that doesn't change the magnetic flux through the loop, because there's no magnetic field out here. So the magnetic flux through the loop is decreasing because I'm pulling the loop out of the field region. So then delta phi is negative. And how much has it changed? Well, it's changed by this area here times b. Um, b is the strength of the magnetic field. And what's this area? Well, this area is this width w that we had before times delta s. And if I now ask, what is the change of the magnetic flux divided by delta t? Remember, this is how much the loop has moved in a time delta t. Then I better divide by delta t over here. And I now do physicist's calculus. I take delta phi over delta t, and I write that as d phi magnetic divided by dt equals minus b w. Delta s over delta t, I write as v. Using physicist's calculus, taking my delta s's and delta t's and making them infinitesimally small, delta s over delta t becomes v. Delta phi over delta t becomes d phi dt. And lo and behold, here I have BWV, here I have VBW, that's the same thing. And so what I've just derived in this simple context, in this specific context, is that the EMF around this loop is equal to minus, and this minus is something that we're going to discuss at length in subsequent videos, and it's a very important minus sign, minus D phi the derivative, time derivative of the magnetic flux through the loop. So this is an EMF around the loop. And it's related to d by dt of a magnetic flux through the loop. And this, in fact, is Faraday's law. So it's going to get a funny shaped box. That is Faraday's law. And I've derived it in this one specific context. But the generalization is that this is always true, even in many, many contexts other than the one in which I was able to derive it in. And we'll come to that generalization in our next video.